Welcome back to ETV Extra here on the ETV Sportsnet. Thank you for clicking in during your lunchtime. This year we're broadcasting live from the campus of East Texas Baptist University on the first floor of the Ornella Student Center in the Huffman Student Activities area. Glad that you clicked in this afternoon to listen to the show. And, of course, later on YouTube, on the ETV YouTube channel, you can watch the segments as they're being taped each week for playback later in the week. We've been talking Lady Tiger and Tiger Soccer with the head coach, Paul Grant, now to bring one of the Lady Tigers on the show today. And we're bringing in Sammy Rios, a senior from Joshua, Texas. And, and Sammy, how are you doing today? Doing pretty great. Pretty good. Yeah. I found out she knows my son, Andrew, <laughs> who's a junior here. And right now, I don't know what what Andrew has told her about me, hopefully good things, but uh, glad that you know my son, Andrew, who's a soft, he's a junior now, I'm sorry, yeah. he's, he's growing <laughs> up. Well, Sammy, you're, you're a senior here from Joshua, Texas. What brought you to, to play soccer at East Texas Baptist University? Um, I think the community here, when coming on my recruitment trip, just the girls here, it wasn't just a team, it was more of a family, and just seeing them like taking in freshmen and just like coming in as a recruit it's super intimidating but knowing that these girls here were to answer any questions and just be there for support no matter what now your real name is samantha yes <laughs> and uh when did you pick up the nickname sammy just something that's kind of happened through the years um yeah when i started little my mom thinks samantha's only a name i really use when i'm in trouble so it's kind of like sammy let's just stick with that short easy but when you hear your mom say samantha <laughs> you know you gotta listen yeah that's something else <laughs> Well, kind of talk to me about how you're a senior, so you, you've, you've gone through the experience of being here early, learning how to time manage between a student athlete, mm -hmm. you know, being a student and being an athlete. How difficult is that? I think a lot of people don't understand that, hey, we're here to, to, to academics, but we also love a game we get to play. So how do you manage all that? Um, I think it just comes with like time and learning because my freshman year, it was terrible. Like time management and playing the sport was not something I knew how to do well. But um, just having like upperclassmen talk to you and just kind of get, asking for advice and them giving you advice and just kind of learning to manage your schedule, it just kind of like all comes with time, really. It's just a learning process. Being a part of the team as long as you've been, what do you like about this year's team? Um, I love the team bonding that we have just right off the bat coming in. We just knew the girls and we just automatically all clicked. It's just like we had known them from forever playing soccer at East Texas Baptist University of San Mariel. She's a senior from Joshua, Texas, and your major is athletic training. What sparked you to get into athletic training? Um, I think my love for sports and just, I think being, I've torn both my ACL, so just like being with trainers and like rehabbing and just seeing their like passion for their athlete, but also for the sport, it kind of like sparked my love, like knowing that I love the sport, but also I want to be there to help my athletes and like keep them on the field. I asked Coach Grant when his love for soccer began at an early age. What about you? When did your love for the game begin for you? Um, I think it started young, right when I got put in rec at four years old. It's just something that, like, clicked and stuck with me since then. You've been playing ever since. Yep. <laughs> All right, last question, Sammy. I, I, my wife's an English teacher, so when I looked at your bio at goetigers.com, I noticed what your favorite book is, The Diary of Anne Frank. Why, why that book? What, what, that book had, that must have been an impact in your life to say, that's my favorite book. Um, I think it just started in, I think, middle school whenever one of my teachers kind of suggested it like, for me to read. And I just like, read about it and just like, her passion and just her writing. And it just kind of like, sparked out like, my passion was for like, soccer. And it just kind of like, correlated with that. And that's just one of my favorite books. All right, it's kind of interesting. I want to know that answer. And that's a question from my wife, the English <laughs> teacher would love to ask. Well, one, I said it was the last final question. This is the final question. Coming up this weekend, you're playing for your first home match of the year. What's it like playing at Cornish Soccer Field, being an athlete here at ETBU playing soccer? It's super exciting. Um, just walking onto that field and then seeing the fans in the stands and just knowing that when we step on that field, like, there's a greater purpose, you know, we're playing for each other, we're playing for the man upstairs, and just that we get to be at home and do that is super exciting, and just having people cheer us on from the sidelines is just a super exciting experience. It, like, gets an adrenaline rush going, and we just go out there and play. All right. Well, Sammy, thank you for your time. Thank you. Today on Need to Be Extra, looking forward to talking to you again later in the season, and best to your Lady Tigers this weekend. Thank you. Playing Victoria, University of, of Houston, Victoria, in the first home match, 5 o'clock, at 5 o'clock on Saturday, Sunday State Corner Soccer Field. Coming up next here on ETBX, we're going to talk to another player, this time from the men's team of, lady, of, of, men's team of soccer. David Jackson is next on ETB Extra. <laughs> 